my life-changing discovery that heaven is true. As I approached the nurse's station, I saw them gathered for their daily meeting. They were talking about the patients on the ward and planning their day. I hurried over and interrupted, saying, I need to talk to you. It's urgent. What's wrong, Susie? Asked my favorite nurse, sounding concerned. I feel like I'm going to die soon. Please keep an eye on me, I said urgently. Don't worry, Susie. We'll look after you and keep an eye on you. You're not going to die, the nurse reassured me gently. The nurses in the oncology ward are amazing people who work hard to care for cancer patients. They came to my room regularly to check my temperature, blood pressure, and heart rate. They did tests day and night. When I got back into bed, I felt a bit calmer. But I still felt like my spirit was trying to leave my body. As I sat up in bed, it felt like my spirit was leaving my body and heading towards heaven. It was an intense feeling that I'll never forget. I felt like I was flying high, like my spirit had left my body and become energy. As I left my body, I realized that time doesn't exist outside of our bodies. I lost track of time and space during this experience. In the next part of the journey, I felt like I was flying around a universe in spirit form. It felt like something out of a movie. I saw the starry sky as my body lay still below me. I felt a sense of peace and bliss, like I was in heaven. I felt connected to all living beings and realized that everything is energy. The boundaries we see in everyday life, like time and space, are just illusions. I was shown what the universe is like when we are no longer in our bodies. It feels like being in outer space, with a sense of belonging to everything. There was a feeling and sensation of immense love. I imagined that this state is what being an angel feels like. A sense of overarching love and freedom without any fears. I have no sense of how long I was out of my body. Time was not relevant in this space. There is no time. I learned that everything is happening simultaneously and time is something that we make up, it's an unreal construct. While I was out of my body and my spirit off on an adventure in the outer layers of the cosmos, I was given a choice about coming back into my body again or staying in this other realm. It felt good to be in this realm and free of worries. It was a deeply pleasurable experience. I knew intuitively that I only had one opportunity to decide whether to stay out of my body or come back. There was only ever going to be one chance to return, and this was it. This was the biggest decision of my life. Do I stay as a spirit or return to my body? It was crunch time. I had a choice to die or return. It was an absolutely clear decision for me that I wanted to return to my body and keep my life going. I knew that I had more to do in this life on earth. Although I was 55, my son was still young, and I wanted to be there for him, to give him some support, to help him shake this part of his life, and be with him in these formative years. This was the main reason I wanted to come back. I knew I had more to do in this life. I loved my young son so much and wanted to see him grow up and make his way in the world as a good man. I felt that my soul had a contract to fulfill. I knew it was possible to come back to life, which felt comforting. The trip around the universe was spectacular and cosmic, and yet I knew that it would not be a permanent space for me at this time. I was sure that I would come back into life again and wanted to come back. It felt like just a moment that I was away from my body, and yet so much seemed to have happened in that space and time. The aspect I remember most vividly when I was swirling around the universe is that I got to see and experience that this is an energy-based universe where everything is connected. I knew the theory of this already. I had written a book about energy and frequency a few years before, not realizing that I would experience this universal law for myself in the cosmic realms. I had read a lot of ancient wisdom that says we are energy beings connected by consciousness. I had written about this idea in my first book, Instructions for Happiness and Success, and explored this topic in detail. Now I was experiencing the theory with first-hand experience. I knew that quantum science explains life in terms of energy. I had read a lot of literature on quantum physics and quantum mechanics when I was researching for the book and became familiar with these concepts. I knew the contemporary theories of consciousness and interconnectedness. In this journey out of my body, I experienced firsthand what it feels like to be floating above and looking down on myself. I got to see this with my own eyes and understood that we are energy beings emanating frequency and vibrating around the place. 
One shift in one part of the cosmos has a direct effect on the whole system. I saw how this works and began to understand some of the concepts I had read about for years. I know this idea can be hard to comprehend and understand from the perspective of everyday life for some people. I am reporting here what actually happened to me. It is my own experience I am describing here. This is an event that will stay with me throughout this lifetime. To slip through the veil of life to the other side and then arrive back into the body again is a rare and spectacular treat. I feel lucky to have experienced it. I was courageous through it all and had no fear. I have trust that we are all taken care of and that there is life after death, just in a different form. I feel blessed that this event happened and I got to experience this out-of-this-world adventure. I was specifically asked if I wanted to come back into my body. I knew this was a choice point. If I said yes, I would be reconnected with my body and begin life again. If I said no to returning, then there was no turning back and my spirit would go free. There would be no return to this life again for me. I made my choice, and it was easy. I had a young son who still needed me in his life. He was too begun to lose his mom. I also intuitively knew if I came back into my body, I would be healed. I would have a clear scan and come back into my body realigned and without the disease. This turned out to be the exact way it happened. Once I had mentally gotten clear that I wanted to come back and set that intention, it was then that I was delivered immediately straight back into my body. It felt like a fast and smooth entry back to life on earth. It felt like it happened at the speed of light. I sensed a bright flash of light on re-entry. It was a subtle yet profound moment and one that is indelibly imprinted in my mind. When I opened my eyes, I realized I was back in my body, lying on the hospital bed, just where I had started from. Life took on a new perspective. My feelings had changed. I had forever changed. Everything seemed different from this point forward. I didn't know about near-death experiences NDE, until later on. I learned that it happens to many people in moments when they're close to death. When I came back from my experience, I noticed something big, I had no fear. Even when I tried, I couldn't feel scared. It was like fear was gone from me. I felt brave and mentally strong. I also felt wiser and thankful for everything. I didn't talk about what happened to me much because I was afraid people would think I was crazy. It was only later that I felt comfortable sharing my story with others. I feel lucky to have had this experience. It changed me in many ways. I knew I had to come back into my body because I had a young son who needed me. I also believed that if I came back, I would be healed. And that's exactly what happened. When I opened my eyes, I was back in my body, lying in the hospital bed. Life looked different after that. I felt changed forever.